Today we will learn pernicious anemia. The various types of anemias are there. In that one of the type that is the pernicious anemia. Now pernicious anemia means what? It is a type of vitamin B12 deficiency. It is a type of vitamin B12 deficiency. We require vitamin B12 for production of RBCs. Okay, one of the ingredients is there. If there is a vitamin B12 deficiency, then also the RBCs will form immature. And this is the cause of the anemia. We will see in detail now. Because of lack of intrinsic factor. Now see, listen carefully. Because of lack of intrinsic factor, people with pernicious anemia cannot absorb vitamin B12. Cannot absorb vitamin B12. Now vitamin B12 that is a supplement we need that is we occur outside the body. That is the supplement, that is the food. If it is a deficiency of in our food, that is the vitamin B12, then there is a cause of the anemia. That anemia we call it as a pernicious anemia. Suddenly you should understood this one. Pernicious means vitamin B12 deficiency. Pernicious means vitamin B12 deficiency. But even though we are in our diet, vitamin B12 if we are taking in our diet, including the vitamin B12, but the absorption capacity, how the absorption will take place? With the help of, with the help of intrinsic factor, intrinsic factor. So if there is any lack of the intrinsic factor, the vitamin B12 will not absorb properly. If there is intrinsic factor, if it is less or if it is there is any lack of the intrinsic factor, where it is intrinsic factor, it is there in the intestine, in our body. If that intrinsic factor is less, then our body will not absorb properly the vitamin B12. Okay. So, however, vitamin B12 deficiency can be caused by a variety of other conditions and factors also. Other reasons are also there. One of that one, that is the lack of intrinsic factor. But vitamin B12 deficiency can be caused by other reasons also. Okay. Now, see here carefully. It is considered as a pernicious anemia. It is also considered as an autoimmune disease. Autoimmune disease in which the body's, or body's own immune system mistakenly damages its own tissue. Autoimmune, you know this one. Hmm? Rheumatic arthritis, that is rheumatism. Rheumatism is also an autoimmune disease. Okay. So, this one, that is another one I told you, this, I am telling this one, that is the autoimmune disease means our immunity system only mistakenly damages our own tissues. And that is the one of the cause of the pernicious anemia. That is the one of the cause of the pernicious anemia. Understood this one? Pernicious anemia means we have to come in front of our this one, okay, they, this is the vitamin B12 deficiency. Why this is vitamin B12 deficiency? Because in our body there is a lack of the intrinsic factor. Okay. Other reasons are also there for the vitamin B12 deficiency. And the one of the reasons, this one are pernicious anemia, that is the this is the autoimmune disease. This pernicious anemia, it is a autoimmune disease. In this, 
what happens our body's own immune system mistakenly damages its own tissues due to the wrong immunity it damages our own body tissues only so that's why there is a pernicious anemia now see this one causes what are the causes are there main reason that is the vitamin b12 deficiency in our diet so diet should be proper if there is any if there is any lack of vitamin b12 in our di diet less quantity that is the one of the cause lack of intrinsic factor though we are taking vitamin b12 sufficiently in our diet but due to the lack of intrinsic factor due to this this lack of intrinsic factor the though we are having though we are taking from our diet vitamin b12 but absorption is improper isn't it so that's why there is a deficiency of vitamin b12 ultimately okay next one that is the loss of stomach cells that produces the intrinsic factor where the uh, intrinsic factor stomach cells loss of in stomach cells if there is any loss of the stomach cells which producing the uh, that is the parietal cells okay of the stomach cells that produces the intrinsic factor if there is any loss of that stomach cells then also they will not produce there is a deficiency of the intrinsic factor and in uh, the, the lack of intrinsic factor no absorption of the vitamin b12 so causes the pernicious anemia next one the presence of incorrect bacteria in the small intestine which is unable to absorb these nutrients in our intestine other the e coli bacteria are there but in our small intestine if there is incorrect bacteria then also they will not absorb the these type of nutrients okay other causes like so many causes are there so diseases that prevents the absorption of the vitamin b12 some of the diseases they will not absorb due to that diseases there is a prevention of absorption of vitamin b12 some of the medications are also there surgical removal of the portions of the small intestine due to tapeworm infection due to tapeworm infection also there is a cause of the pernicious anemia understood this one these are the so many causes of the pernicious anemia which are those deficiency of vitamin b12 in the diet lack of intrinsic factor loss of stomach cells that produces the intrinsic factor the presence of incorrect bacteria in our small intestine that will not absorbs the these types of nutrients other causes like the diseases which prevents the absorption of vitamin b12 some medications surgical removal of the portion of the small intestine and due to tapeworm infection these are the causes of the pernicious anemia now we will see the signs and symptoms same as that of the anemia we know what are the common common signs and symptoms of the anemia but if there is a pernicious anemia along with that symptoms of the anemia that is the fatigue dizziness shortness of the breath pale skin isn't it along with that there is a vitamin b12 deficiency and due to that vitamin b12 deficiency there are some serious symptoms are there these are the nerve damages neurological problems such as confusion dementia depression and memory loss okay due to only the vitamin b12 deficiency because pernicious anemia means only there is this is due to the main cause that is the vitamin b12 deficiency and that is very very important b12 that is the water soluble vitamin that is useful for the preparation of the rbcs also and for keeping our nerves healthy 
keeping our nerves healthy so if there is any deficiency that causes the nerve da damages neurological problems the, the, such as confusion memory problems all the brain problem that is the confusion dementia depression and memory loss symptoms in the digestive tracts including nausea and vomiting okay this is also one of the signs and symptoms and heartburn abdominal bloating or gas constipation all the gi problems including nausea vomiting constipation diarrhea loss of appetite loss of appetite that is the loss of appetite means what no hungry the having not having any interest to take the food that is the loss of appetite okay not having any interest to take the food okay and the loss of hunger means loss of hunger and weight loss ultimately weight loss an enlarged liver a smooth and beefy red color tongue tongue how it looks smooth beefy red color how it is a uh, a uh, usually that is a pink in color okay but it is smooth too much smooth beefy and red coloration okay showing red coloration infants who have the small childs the infants who have vitamin b12 deficiency may have poor reflexes and usual unusual movements such as face tremors sometime the partial that is a uh, twitching is there tremors is there that is one of that is the face tremor one side or sometime both sides that is the face tremor face tremors are there these are only due to the vitamin b12 deficiency along with that anemia you have to write the signs and symptoms of common anemia that is the fatigue dizziness shortness of the breath isn't it heart problem everything but along again you have to write the common signs and symptoms but along with that the main symptoms due to that vitamin b12 deficiency you have to write here that is the serious symptoms these are nerve damages neurological problems symptoms in the digestive tract enlarged liver and smooth and beefy red color tongue and infant showing the tremors in the face okay poor reflexes okay now how the diagnosis complete cbc count that is the complete blood cell count okay this test measures the vitamin b12 and iron levels in the blood serum also we know only the cbc means what all the cells and everything okay along with that this will also measures vitamin b12 and iron levels in the blood and serum in the blood serum or in the blood and serum okay vitamin b12 deficiency test this is the another test specific test your doctor can assess your vitamin b12 levels through the blood test if there is any low levels that indicate there is a deficiency of vitamin b12 bone marrow examination by seeing the bone marrow bone marrow why if it is not properly working your bone marrow you know that one all the stem cells are produced here in the bone marrow if the bone marrow is not working properly all the cells will not produce properly next one that is the biopsy you know that one one of that one biopsy means what that one that small tissue we will take out part with the help of the needle and that we have to take and we have to check in and uh, according to that one if it is a damaged one then understood that this thing there is anemia okay pernicious anemia doctor may also want to see any damage in the stomach walls okay before only we discussed in the causes that is the damage of the stomach walls parietal cells that secretes the intrinsic factor okay a biopsy can be used to determine the causes okay the biopsy is a procedure you know the procedure every time the same procedure taking the sample of the cells from the stomach from where we have to take 
now here from the stomachs to see the the cells are working properly or no the cells are examined under the microscope for signs of the damages okay this is all about the diagnosis what we see here cbc test vitamin b12 deficiency test bone marrow examination and and biopsy before that one you can write here the common things also that is the physical examination in that you will tell the medical history and everything about that first one diagnosis that is the physical examination only you can write here okay then cbc vitamin b12 deficiency biopsy okay bone marrow examination these are all about the diagnosis now see the treatment what is the cause that we have to fulfill then that is this is the supply this is the treatment what is here the cause the vitamin b12 deficiency so that in the dietary supplement we have to give the supplement such as rich in the vitamin b12 and folic acid from where we will get direct we can take from the injection or oral but dietary how animal food including meat fish egg milk and other dietary products and uh, sorry and other dairy products dairy products that is the curd ghee that is the butter milk isn't it all the diet paneer cheese everything the dairy products okay how we can take how we uh, that does diet should be rich in vitamin b12 and folic acid that is from where we will get the animal food animal food means what including the meat fish eggs milk other dairy products okay we can also supply with the leafy vegetables also we can take the folic acid spinach and everything we will get here okay vitamin b12 replacement therapy replacement therapy how vitamin b12 injections daily or weekly injections are administered until the vitamin b12 level returns to the normal till that the doctor will suggest daily or sometimes according to the deficiency according to the severity of the disease the doctor will suggest how we have to take the injections daily or weekly okay till the vitamin b12 levels come to normal this is all about the treatment now note here vitamin b12 b12 means what for what purpose we require vitamin b12 see vitamin b12 is a water soluble vitamin that keeps our nerves and rbcs healthy these are responsible for smooth functioning of the several critical body processes for all the processes several critical body processes we need vitamin b12 so and also it helps to form the rbcs also so that's why vitamin b12 is very necessary to our body otherwise the problems will produce and causes that is the pernicious anemia okay this we completes the pernicious anemia now we will stop here